Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is March the 28th, 2016. This is also known as Dingus Day. Alright. Okay. You know we can't just leave it at that. Dingus Day is a fun Polish holiday. It's popular in Poland, which by the way, I have family that originated from there, and it is popular in Polish communities around America. Essentially, it is a day designated for fun. I personally like the sounds of that. At the time of writing this, we have experienced 141 earthquakes today. This brings our monthly total to a whopping 8,176. Today has shaped up to be an interesting one, just as we anticipated. We've seen multiple intense earthquakes striking around the Ring of Fire, and we also experienced a volcano become active. We'll talk more about this shortly, but first, let's chat about yesterday, March the 27th. Yesterday, we clocked in 230 earthquakes. The strongest was a 5.7 that struck Nikolsky, Alaska. This was actually the only magnitude 5 earthquake experienced. In totality, Alaska clocked in 56, six of which originated in or around Nikolsky. Keep this in mind as it will play into today's activity, which we will discuss later in the program. California remained quiet yesterday. Cobb registered 10 with an average magnitude of only a 0.6. The geysers experienced the most earthquakes in the Golden State with 16. The second strongest actually registered there, which was a 2.6. The most intense for the day came to us from Kettleman City, which is just about halfway between San Francisco and Los Angeles. This was a 2.7. Our neighbors in Mexico, care of Middle America, were rocked with back-to-back magnitude 4s. San Felipe was shaken by a 4.4, and San Francisco del Mar was rocked by a 4.9. Finishing out the southwestern tip of the Ring of Fire, we see that Honduras felt a 4.5, and Chile clocked in 3, all of which averaged a magnitude 4.2. Looking to the Pacific Plate, we see that Hawaii was mostly quiet, only three experienced, all of which averaged around a 2.1. Our pals in Fiji registered an earthquake in the Nidoi Islands. This makes the 15th quake to strike the area this month. This was a 4.4. Moving across the Eurasian Plate, we'll see that Dorez, Albania, of all places, experienced a 4.4. This brings Albania's earthquake total to 6 for the year. The strongest thus far to rock the region has been a 4.8. Changing gears, let's look at today's activity. We'll begin by reviewing recent events in Alaska. As we stated earlier, Nikolsky, Alaska was struck by a 5.6. This was followed by a 4.6 and a 2.8. All of these earthquakes pertain to the activity centered around the Pavlov volcano. This volcano erupted today with little advance warning spewing an ash cloud up to 20,000 feet into the air. That's about 3.8 miles, and that is amazing. Today's events make perfect sense considering the massive earthquake swarms that we have been identifying and speaking about in our previous videos throughout the past month. Anyways, this volcano just so happens to be one of the most active volcanoes in the peninsula, and it isn't known for giving much warning before it erupts. As it stands now, the eruption does not pose a threat to anyone. We'll definitely monitor the situation going forward and report on any changes though. Now, before we review the remaining earthquake data for the day, I would like to speak a bit more about Mount Pavlov. Some are saying that this is a sign that the world is going to end. I kid you not. Check this out. Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there's been a volcano eruption in Alaska just uh not long ago we got reports and there are numerous videos just like this all over youtube now i'm not saying that this isn't the beginning of something awful but seismic and volcanic activity in this area is not out of the ordinary in fact if we look at the data we'll see that eruptions have been recorded in 1980 81 83 1986 through 1988 1996 through 1997 2007, 2013, and twice in 2014. At this point in time, I do not see this being any more than another display of this amazing planet constantly changing and keeping us on our toes. However, this volcano has an incredibly high threat score of 95. Not because of the dangers it poses to life and animals, but because of the air route disruptions it causes. I kid you not. 
I don't know about you guys, but I find that to be really funny. Back to the data. As it stands now, at 6.09 p.m. Eastern Time, Alaska has clocked in 20 earthquakes. Washington has been quiet. Only one, a 1.2 and Leavenworth, has been experienced. Oregon has clocked in three thus far, all of which have originated from Lakeview. The strongest to strike the area today was a 2.3. California has registered 52 so far, 19% of which have originated from Cobb, 21% from Mammoth Lakes, and 48% from the Geysers. The strongest to rock the state today was a 2.2 in Vacaville. San Felipe, Mexico, experienced another earthquake today. This registered as a 4.5. Jamaica was shaken by a 3.6. This actually makes the second earthquake to strike the country this month. Let's race across the Pacific where we see that Indonesia has registered 4, the strongest being a 5.0 out of Tanamera. Papua New Guinea experienced a 5.2. Taiwan clocked in a 4.3. And Haiti registered a 4.4. Finally, Pakistan experienced another earthquake today. This was a 4.6. Finally, keep your eyes peeled on Hawaii. As it stands, moments ago, they have been seeing back-to-back earthquakes. Nine thus far have hit the area today, with the strongest being a 3.6. Definitely keep your eyes on this. This is interesting. Okay, guys, just a few things before we wrap up this video. First of all, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I have really enjoyed talking with you guys. And as it stands right now, we just rolled over 120 subscribers, and we have racked in a whopping 19,664 watch time minutes. So basically, that equates to this. If you were to sit down and watch nearly 20,000 hours of our videos, it would consume nearly 13 and a half days. That's flipping amazing. Second, I would like to throw a shout out to Mattia Williams. Thanks, man, for turning my attention on to Jill Bassard and his research into Planet X. I would love to get your thoughts on Planet X, Nibiru, when you have a chance, folks. If you believe it, or if you do not, I'd like to hear about it. Post down below. Last of all, I haven't forgot about the earthquake forecast model. Nothing has changed as far as that is concerned. We are still seeing the possibilities for a 6 plus magnitude earthquake striking the globe today. We'll definitely monitor the remaining earthquake data throughout the day and report if anything unusual takes place. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today or if you'd like to chat, please post below. we like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!